Hello, my name is Roberto, and I'll be going through the Octalysis framework review of my app called Foodprint. To help introduce Foodprint, I would like you to meet Julia. Julia is a university student and she works part time. She's also an avid iPhone user and she's worried about climate change. She always hears terrible things on the news about climate change, but she feels overwhelmed and she doesn't know exactly how she can help. Thanks to some advertising on Facebook, Julia begins to hear of an app called Foodprint. Foodprint is an app that helps users make changes to their diet in order to help lower their carbon footprint. Users can catalog their diet either manually or by taking photos of their meals. Then they find out their diet's overall carbon contribution and they're able to track their progress over time. And with this knowledge and with help from the app, users begin to make better decisions and begin to lower their overall carbon footprint. So during the discovery stage, um, the app relies on advertising on Facebook in order to give users uh, the feeling of, of being a humanity hero. You know, so they use core drive number one in order to make her feel like she can make a difference and she can help the world. Uh, she begins to feel empowered and like she knows how she can finally do her part to help improve the earth. Julia then feels curious from all those advertising and she decides to visit the app store. Uh, at the app store, Foodprint relies on core drive number five, social influence, uh, by showing her that the app has high ratings and some great user reviews. She notices also that the app has won multiple awards. Uh, she starts to feel curious, which is core drive number seven, unpredictability and curiosity, um, because she wants to know what her carbon footprint might be. And finally, because of core drive number eight, loss and avoidance, Julia begins to, uh, she decides to make a purchase of the app due to a limited time offer which she doesn't want to miss out on. So this is core drive number eight, loss and avoidance. After Julia has downloaded the app, now it's the onboarding part of the experience. During onboarding, Julia first opens the app and she's greeted with a short video explaining the story of carbon footprint um, and climate change. So uh, this app is now relying on core drive number one, epic meaning and calling by using the narrative technique in order to um, help her relate to the story and help her relate to the current problem. The app then guides her through some of its features uh, the app always keeps track of her progress and it keeps her curious as to what the next feature might be and how it might work. So this is core drive number seven, unpredictability and curiosity. So the app is using uh, progress bars and glowing choice in order to keep her uh, interested and motivated. The app then relies on core drive number two, development and accomplishment, because once she has tried all of the features, she earns her first badge. Um, she's now a level one hippie. So the app is now using achievement symbols in order to keep her engaged and motivated. Now that Julia is familiar with all of the features and how of the app works, she's ready to start on the scaffolding phase of the experience. In the scaffolding stage, 
The app first relies on core drive number four, ownership and possession, because it allows Julia to catalog her diet every day and she begins to see her progress from day to day. So it uses monitor attachment because now she is tracking her progress and she's looking at how well she's doing compared to last week. So she begins to feel ownership over the process and her, her progress. The app then uses core drive number two, development and accomplishment, um, because now that the app starts to learn her behaviors and uh, her patterns, the app is now giving her reminders when she's at her grocery shop or her favorite restaurant so that she could make better choices. So this is called the Alfred effect because the app is knowing her more and more and making her more personal recommendations over time. Lastly, the app uses core drive number five, um, which is social influence and relatedness by allowing Julia to compare herself with her friends. Uh, so the app shows her leaderboards and also Julia loves to see uh, the trophy shelf of her friends. So she's able to, to show off the, the badges that she has earned and she's able to see the badges that her friends have earned. So this keeps her really engaged in the experience and wanting to, to make more progress. So she continues to use the app. Lastly, once she has been using the app for quite some time and she's now experienced, uh, she is ready to enter the end game of the, of the app's experience. During the end game stage, uh, the app relies on core drive number two, development and accomplishment. The app does this by using the game mechanics uh, collection sets. Um, so basically there are all these trophies that Julia is able to get and uh, she's always trying to get all of them and collect all of them and, and complete her collection. Finally, she, she achieves the level three hippie so she's congratulated by the app and it leads to the next stage, which is the milestone unlock uh, game mechanic. At this point, um, because she reached a level three, she can now, um, she now has the ability to become a mentor. So she has unlocked that feature, which wasn't available beforehand. The app also relies on core drive number five, which is social influence and relatedness. The app does this by using the rock star effect. So the rock star effect here is really emphasizing the fact that she started um, and she was inexperienced and she didn't have a lot of knowledge, but uh, over time she has made a lot of progress and now she's a respected member of the community. So the app keeps saying, hey, look, um, every, all these people, this community needs you. And it keeps reminding her of her, her experience that she has reached. And it gives her the option to mentor people. So here the app is also relying on mentorship in order to, to keep her engaged, but also to keep other uh, members of the community engaged. Lastly, the app is relying on core drive number eight, loss and avoidance. So to keep Julia from, from stop using the app and from going away, the app constantly reminds her of the progress that she has made. And it, it gives her the feeling that she doesn't want to lose all of the, this progress and all of her badges and the, even the friends that she has made in the community and in the app. So this is not such a positive core drive, but it, it does help keep her engaged and keep her motivated and keep her around. So the app doesn't rely on this uh, during the entire experience, but it, it, it does use it at the end of the, of the experience in order to create this feeling that she doesn't wanna um, you know, lose all of the things that she has worked so hard for in the past few months that she has been using the app. 
So in conclusion, uh, Julia used to feel powerless and she used to feel anxious about climate change because she didn't know what she could do. Uh, and thanks to Foodprint, she now feels more empowered because she knows that she can take some actions towards the situation and she can do her part. Uh, she can help by reducing her carbon footprint. And lastly, she's now also a big part of the community. And all of these things are just possible because the app was engaging and motivating and it kept her around. So this is thanks to the gamification in the app itself or else she would have abandoned the app much earlier or perhaps not even have gotten started. So thank you for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please uh, leave a comment um, on Moodle or by email. Happy to, happy to assist, happy to answer any questions. Finally, here's some credits for the presentation. Motivational design of food apps is the class, Professor Philip Weber. The Octalysis framework is by Yukai Chao. Concept wireframes and presentation by myself, Roberto de Oliveira. And the illustrations used are by Pablo Stanley. So thanks to all these people and goodbye.